Hey guys, um, today I'm going to talk about a dream that I had um, about sex before marriage because at the time it was something that um, not so much I but especially my friends who were newly newly born again were very much struggling with. They, like, and me to be honest, like, um, but just not as much but yeah, like obviously I think everyone has that thought in their head but wait a minute, I've already had sex. So, what do you mean I can't have sex before marriage? You know, I'm not a virgin, blah, blah, blah. You know, when you come to faith, if you're an adult, then, um, you know, you may have already had those intimate relationships. And basically, um, I was asking God for help on this issue, and he sent it to me in a dream. I believe, anyway, I believe the dream was from God. Um, okay, so I'll tell you about what, what my dream was, and, like, basically, I know it's not, like, from my head, and it's not from my understanding, because, like, literally, the way that he said it was just, just way too intelligent to be from my head, I'm gonna put it bluntly. So, um, basically, I had a dream where one of my friends w was in it, um, the, the friend that God chose is to put it like nicely like no to put it like bluntly not nicely is the the most um slutty of them all right so so God chose my sluttiest friend right and basically I and I don't mean that in a bad way you know whatever I'm talk I can't promiscuous maybe okay whatever you know okay so, a girl that has sex with lots of people, lots of different people on a regular basis, all the time, right? So, she was in my dream, and there was another man, and the man, and I was there as well, but I wasn't really part of the conversation, I was just sat watching the conversation. And the girl was getting ready to get into bed with another guy, and this guy says to her, um, bas basically explains why we should wait and he said he used the parable of like well he used like a parable he used a parable of fish so he said basically for example um, say you're on a beach and you've got like the shallow water and you've got your little little shallow fish you know the little tiny ones he said if you keep like paddling in shallow water all you're ever gonna get are these little puny, you know, just st not stupid, but puny fish. Like, not pretty, not anything special. There's going to be little puny ones, you know. You're in shallow water, you're going to get a shallow fish. You know, that's what he's saying. And he's saying, you know, take, he was saying, take the time to, you know, swim out deeper into the ocean because when we swim, deep into the ocean, then we can find ourselves a big fish, a beautiful fish, loads of different colours, different shapes, like fish you've never seen before, fish you never even knew existed, he said. He said, if you stay in the shallow water, you know, yeah, you're going to get, you know, yeah, you can keep, you can keep running after the shallow fish. You can run left, right and centre on the shallow water, but unless you swim deep into the ocean, you can't get yourself the beautiful fish, the big fish, the intelligent fish, the like magnificent fish, you know? And then that's the part that I understood. <laughs> and then this is the, but like obviously he said it in a better way. I'm just like simplifying it. You know, I can't repeat those words of wisdom because literally I woke up and I was like, hmm, that's not from my head. Yeah, and then, um, and then next he also used parables of fishing. And, like, I'd only been fishing once when I got this dream, and I had no idea what he was talking about. So, to be honest, I can't really explain the next part of the dream. But he was talking about different fishing hooks and different different weights and stuff. So, when you're in shallow water, you this, this. And when you're in the big one, you, know, you get your other hooks or your whatever. And I, I didn't understand, like, a single thing because, like, I, I don't fish. But, like, maybe that was only for me to understand that this is not from my head. Like, that this is, you know. And the, th the thing is, I've heard, like, on YouTube, like, other people have had, like, similar sort of dreams about fish. Because, you know, we are fishermen of people, you know, as Christians. 
And so I don't know, maybe God likes to use the fish in, in, in ways to, you know, explain to us. But, but yeah, there was more to it. Um, but I just wanted to, to share that with people who are particularly struggling with the no sex before marriage. And um, if we need, like, to explain to our, like, non-Christian friends or to Christian friends who are struggling with it, I think that it is something that we all struggle with. I don't think it's, you know, something that as a Christian you're like, ah, I don't even think about it, you know what I mean? I don't think that's realistic. I think we always have our temptations and I think it's something we have to keep focused on. Like, we, we yeah, like, we can't have sex before marriage. And, you know, I believe God explained why, because you don't want to, you know, you know, this guy comes, this guy leaves, this guy comes, this guy leaves. Yeah, you're running up and down the beach, but paddling in shallow water, getting your little tiny puny fish. No, like he says, you swim, 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 and then you'll like see something beautiful, you know, and something deep and something, yeah, magnificent. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Alright, see ya.